But now we got the Tarpor map. Couple today. This guy Sigma is fun. Let me uh, update title real quick. Uh, do do do. Okay. Wait a second. One second. We're a bit late, I know. Okay, we're, we're good. Let's discover this map. So, oh, we're actually just on time. Uh, booster in the start. I think this is a tech map. I'm still using the bronze seasonal skin. Okay. Oh, it's like NASCAR-ish. Outside hole. Okay. I'm just assuming the red arrow means it's the faster path everywhere. I'm hoping that's what they symbolize. But there hasn't been a NASCAR map in a while. And NASCAR maps in Trickmania, they're not just left turns. It's a, it's a map style where you drive on road with really high speed. And the best strategy is very often to release instead of drifting. So, uh, in most of these turns, you're just going to want to release and approach, full sum the rest of the turn and carry a lot of exit speed. Oh, well. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. Oh wow. Okay. <sighs> okay. That turn is hard. You want to pick up this booster? I'm not sure about the next one though. Definitely his first one, but the second red path looked weird. Oh no, it is. It is that red. Okay, you gotta. You gotta go for it. Okay. Turn off cars here so I can properly see it. Full speed so far. Even that I think is full speed. Crazy, but I think it is. So, just gotta send. Look at that. Holy. All the way to the loop? No way. Okay, that was a bad break tap. I just gotta, this is a good one to uh, get a feeling for the rest with. Yeah, so here you kind of take a jump, I think, on purpose. Go here, small jump, full speed through this. Ooh. This is so precise, I'm like, trying not to blink. You blink on a map like this, you pretty much miss the turn, guaranteed. And then it was the last corner, through here, through here, set up wide, and hop. That's only a 54. What's going on? How is there a 51? How is that only a 54? That looked sick. This map looks tough, yeah it is. To get the best times is very precise. Okay, I think the guy with 51 knows the map, I'm pretty sure. Do not see how you get that with a regular way unless you know it already. Okay, nice. Um, better speed here. Oh, wow. Like, that is insane. 
insane map. There's a couple of NASCAR players that I hope are playing today, so you have to witness this at like the highest level. Uh, people like Dopamine would be really fun to see. Uh, Maui is pretty good at this stuff. Who else am I forgetting? Honestly, just Dopamine. If Dopamine is here, it would be sick. Nice. Got it. Yeah, I think getting a no drift through this entire turn is really good. Kind of tricky though. And then drifting through here is fine. Going low and then... Let me just see this. I think this is a no slide. This guy Sigma is... Dude. And then you get up to like 600. And... Oh wow, okay. But that's still only... Let me see the GPS. 50.83. Okay, so full speed start. Oh, no slide here already. That sounded full speed. 5.80 speed into this loop is ridiculous. Early release, low line. I mean, if I get like a 52 flat, I'll be very happy. If I lose to this run by one second. Yeah, no slide here. Correct call. This is a drift, okay. And the last one, no slide? No. Oh, he's not that concerned about going wide, okay. And I should have probably checked the last turn. I'm a bit... Hmm. I shouldn't have reset that early, but yeah. I think the last turn is uh, another no slide, actually. Oh, this is no slide, okay. So just zoom, set up here. Ah, okay. <laughs> just insane face. Throughout this entire map. Oh my. Okay. Need top 64, get division one. Could be trickier. I'll give it my best. Ah, that's so late, okay. But then I can full speed this, right? Almost. I have 80 less speed than the guy. How do I have 80 less speed? Ridiculous. No, it's a, it's a drift, okay. The last turn is a drift. Took me a little bit to realize it, but I see it now. But you just don't get the angle, I don't think. With the release. So... I think I have everything I need now to improve. Just gotta put it into one run. Ah, uh, it's such an unfortunate slide. this corner. That loop is just so crucial. Getting the speed before it. There we go. Nice. Keep wanting all the space and I'm just not getting it. Hmm. <laughs> okay, worry not. Okay, that's good. Good. Ooh. 
Okay, 53, 19, 41st. I think I still need like minus one second or close to that. Like a 52 flat. But that's a start. Oh. It's all in that turn. It's so insane. Ooh. Ah, I need to... Okay, just stay on the inside and then... Yeah. I'm really trying way too hard to get all the space. Stay on the inside here? Yeah. That's better. Okay, that's better. Four minutes. If I can get even half a second, I should probably be in the clear, but... Gotta push. Gotta push, guys. Get just a little bit more... time. So precise. My God. Can't continue that. Sigma is dude. Okay. Oh dude. Oh dude. Oh dude. Okay. I know I can get this. Okay, speed slide. Where am I going? Oh, I hesitated that turn. Just didn't want to mess this one up. Okay, I need to... Point 0.3 or something. Just point 0.3 better. Just anything. God, there's no way people are this fast.
Jesus, man. That's an intense qualifier. I think we make it. I think we make it. I don't think we get sniped last second. Holy, what a map. Jesus, guys. I'm so stressed. <laughs> that was intense. Oof. Big clutch. There was one turn there. I was literally inside the wall. Like, I got an auto slide and I, my car was halfway inside the wall. But it worked. Top 64, we had there's one. I'm insanely far behind the pace. So we might not win today, but it's it's cool this to, you know, win, succeed in the qualifier. Two. Good job, D. You got 64th in Thugs? How are we losing over two seconds? Or like 1.2 seconds? Watch world record. Kind of no point. Because we already watched the GPS, which is a 50.8. So that's like this guy half a second faster it. than the winning yeah. time. Welcome back, less than three. Oh my god, Valkyrie, thank you so much for the tier two. And and the, the nice welcome back. I'm gonna be back to Shima now. This map, though, guys, is like. It's so tense. I actually predict Marius89 will win this. Marius89 is not the fastest player, although he had a respectable, like, top 10 on this, I think. But he just plays so safe. If you can avoid me. crashes, you can go very far in maps like this. Good luck in the knockout. This guy's Sigma is good. Can't wait for five DNFs round one. We're playing a fast learning competition. Yeah, I'm this curious if the people who uh, who knew the map will Joe. retire or not. We kind of have like a, a gentleman's agreement in Trackmania that if you're the mapper, if you've built a this map, Sigma is you should DNF. Good. But it's not so much for players. It's like a nice thing to do, but it's also kind of like unavoidable good. if some maps are very public and then you've played it. On this, I don't even know if they have a big advantage, to be honest, because, like, I, it's a lot more about consistency than pace. We'll see. We'll see. If I can get, like, 52s, I'll be safe for a long time. Uh, Wicked Sun, NJH, and Maurer Anniversario, and Tom Crow. Thank you guys all. Uh, P5 Bandit, thank you for the Prime. And Bilko as well, thank you for the Prime. No cutter? Is there a shortcut? Maps like this give me migraines. <laughs> it's so true. <laughs> you have to focus so intensely, guys. Because, like, the smallest imperfection in your movement just sends you into the walls. Moving input delays, uh, input delays, you can see the game chat. I can do that, but not until after the cup, unfortunately. First round is no knockouts. I've already hit one wall, but really this turn, if you push this one and you get like 540 speed, 550, you're just going to be so far ahead. Whoa. <laughs> nah, this is so, this is going to be so intense. What a turn. PB, I think actually with a crash because I risked the rest. <laughs> Almost PB. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Do 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 do. Studio, thank you. An intoxicated gaming and wash molo. Where, where do you guys think I'll place on this? I'm giving myself like a 70% chance I'll reach top 16. I'll give myself 70% chance I reach top 16 here. Allow to sleep with seven months. Villa is also in division one? Yeah, that's really awesome. He's gotten so good. Are the players matched on level in couple day? Yeah, that's why you played the the qualifier first. So I'm playing against the other top 64 players in Division 1. And that's why it's great if you play casually too. You play against people your level. Ooh, okay, 
Okay, we made it. Through the scary turn. Send it. Commit. Ooh. I am so happy with that run. <laughs> I'll take these 53s. People are gonna crash big time. I'm one of the slowest players that didn't crash. Hey, look, I'm with Marius. We're gonna go for the same strategy today, me and Marius. Don't get distracted by chat. No, I, I try. I also mute alerts usually during cups. Had to release so much before the loop. This is like 70 speed, less than you want. It's the difference between releasing an entry or an exit in Trackmania. Ooh, wow, what a turn. I'm done. Go full down. Yes. And yes, and yeah, yes. Very nice. Very, very nice. Survival is way more important than, than speed here. He has returned, I have. It's very nice to be back uh, next. <laughs> Consistency is not a thing on this map. <laughs> Everyone is, is having the same pain that we are. Because just look at how many times on this map we're close to walls. It's almost every corner, and you have to be to get the right lines. slide that would be pb i think but that's yeah, just a okay run nice what on earth is map 23 is that the hover one it's really cool I need inspo for my senior jacket. I saw that master. I didn't understand what he meant though. Explain why sliding is bad. At very high speed turns, it's better to release. And that's what this map is built to showcase. Because you have a sharper turn radius with full grip at very high speed turns. So a lot of these places, I'm actually trying to prevent sliding like here. Good speed. But at low speed, it's the opposite. At low speed, sliding gives you a sharper turn radius than releasing. This one you can't really avoid, but the rest you can. And a pretty solid run here, mid-52, I think. Yeah. Nice. PB by four thousandths. Still not the winning pace, but... Consistency. Elkon's out, he had 51 pace. Did he actually go out? 
Oh, he did. Yeah, yeah, he was fast. Why is it called a NASCAR map? I mean, this style has been played since like 2009, 2010 in the old Trek Mania games. So it just got that style, uh, or that, that name. I don't really know the history of why. Very bad setup here. Almost lost focus on what to do. That's pretty safe. People are already plus six seconds. Like, if you see this in a couple of days, you can just cruise. You don't really need to risk. You can just try to stroll to the finish. And oh. Nice. Spam on the brink. Go spam. No, Tommy, no. That is unlucky. Nearly had it. But there's also the speed loss. It's very unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. First time watching you play Cup of the Day live? Welcome, Cardanesco. Gala, thank you so much for the prime as well. Gonna check all alerts after. After Cup. Spam washed? No, it's not, not about that. It's just mistakes happen to everyone on, on maps like this. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, I turned on cars and there's a literal tree on the road. <laughs> Did you see that? Someone is driving with a tree as their car skin and they got Division 1. What is happening? I made a short the other day about a guy driving as a banana, but we have a guy driving as a literal tree. I struggle to get Division 1. Someone is literally smurfing. On us today. Ba -ba -ba -da -bum. Nice. Steady fifty two. How can you smurf in Division One? I mean. Effectively, if you know the map <laughs> ahead of time, and you drive like a 51 two minutes into the uh, into the knockouts, or sorry, into the qualifier, that's a pretty good way of smurfing. It's mime. Okay, the other day I saw him drive as a Minecraft uh, character. So, But it's also funny to see like when when players like Pac or Carl Jr. play a couple of days, just how much better they are than than the most of us in Division One. Carl Jr., multiple time world champion. When he plays, it's just like, yeah, we often get clapped. Gwen as well. Monster in a couple of days. When he plays. Oh, I should not drift here. Got a bit. Carried away on autopilot. Ooh. I think my main problem is I'm just not willing to commit for that. Those turns full speed. It's always a small release. Will they also clap Scrappy? Not clap, but they are level, if not slightly better. Gwen, though? Gwen's pace in a couple of days is always unmatched. Intux out. Oh, 07 for Intux. Is it disrespectful to play a couple of days if you know the map? I mean, I think, like, it depends, right? If you're the only person to know the map, then I think it's bad. Or one of the only people. And if you've grinded it a lot and you're also pro. I think in lower divisions it might not matter that much. But at the top, like if you have two hours versus someone with 15 minutes, it's just so clear. Ooh. Massive difference that 
very few players are going to be able to overcome in the short time they have to learn the map. So yeah, I personally think people shouldn't do it. I've played cups where I know the map beforehand and it's a total domination. <laughs> the two times it's happened. But I remember. Ooh. There was a Mudgy map that I won. Where I knew the map beforehand. Where in, in top 9, 7 out of top 9 knew the map from beforehand. Because it was just that dominant if you, if you knew the map. And then there was another one where I don't think really anyone knew the map except for me. And I was just instantly like top 5 qualifier and consistently top 5 in rounds. But I actually got knocked out early though. But yeah, it's a massive, massive advantage. Slow. Okay. Everything's fine. Just don't hit the wall. Oh, my strategy is almost failing here. People are not really losing that much time anymore. My safe and sound strategy is putting me on the brink of survival. Oh, and Marius was almost out. He saved himself. All right, I think I need to. I think I need to stuff it up here a little bit. This is the consensus that campaign all the times are easy. I think the first couple of ones, except for map seven. And then the later ones are very hard. Ooh. Whew. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. See, that's that's a really good pace for me, and I am 0.8 behind. <laughs> ay, 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 ay. There, uh, winner of qualifier out too. My nine shot. The bush got first place. I know. I know. We got beaten by the bush. Okay, my best start yet. Very low speed here. Consistency. <laughs> Basically the exact same time. All right, I give myself a 70% chance of surviving the next round. Whew. Remember to breathe during rounds. I prefer to just hold my breath and breathe afterwards. I really prefer that. Might don't I have a 50.80 from before? Yeah. Bad start. Yeah, 
Is there a flying respawn? Oh, there isn't. Okay. Oh, 70% chance. <laughs> crashes are crashes, guys. Oops. This is a good round, though, looking at the splits. Like, this is a no crash, pretty high pace round so far. Ah, uh, now people crashed, okay. But it is fine. I don't know if I would have very good winning chances seeing like 51 4. And I'm having 52 1 on my vest. But, uh, you know what? You know what, chat? I made Division 1. I'm a style I'm not the best at. And I got pretty far. Style I'm not the best at. I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. It wasn't perfect. It wasn't terrible. It was okay. Terrible would be like getting 63rd, you know? It's okay. That's why you're not Marius, you're too afraid to save. No, but I was behind. I had to risk a bit. Guys, let's watch. Who would win? Four, uh, 13 of the best Trek Mania players in the world? Or a tree? A literal bush. Because <laughs> right now... <laughs> right now, a lot of them are simply losing. To mime. <laughs> <laughs> like, what camera is he even playing this in? This makes no sense. Oh, they are sliding this? Oh, I thought it was release. Huh. Wait, Scrappy's on a banger run. Scrappy's so far ahead. What time is this? 51-4, okay. Ah, uh, Laser DNF and Villa out, most likely? Yeah, Villa out. Unlucky. Unlucky, unlucky. He is playing camera one. If he sees, if that's what he sees, that's crazy. We're in a car size. I think it's actually modeled so that, you know, the, the sides of the bush is where the side of the car would be. But that is insane. <laughs> Alright, do we got any other surprises? Never heard of uh, this player before. Oh, 12th to mistake. Could be on their best couple today. I can check the couple today uh, stats. Raw tricks with a panic release. Uh, let's see. Oh, he's second. This guy's doing really well. Wait, he's not even in the database. I think it's his first Division 1. Could that be right? Also, look at this, Mario is barely safe. Could that be right? Let me quickly check. Check Mania IO. Oh, the, the website might be lagging, though. His best division was Division 2 a month ago. Oh, wait. He... No, he's in. He's in. It's his first Division 1, and he's in the top 10. Wait, this is sick. I am, I am a fan. Oh, mine close to the wall. How does he do this part? This has to be so hard with the tree. It's apparently not. Camera three. <laughs> that's what it looks like for him too, you know? Like that, that's actually what he sees in that loop. Oh, there was a big respawn. Was that Tally? I think so. Tally and last. Nitro faint getting closer. <gasps> Mime into the wall. That's not going to be savable. And Marius instantly hits the panic brakes. My mouth. What a performance, though. What a performance. Lunas is getting 51-1 in Division 10. Yeah, I think he failed the quality. 
You were really rooting for him? I was just, you know, I was watching that. Him just pollinate the servers. Just really, you know. Spreading his seed all over the place. It's nice. But now we won't see Mime anymore. We will see Marius, though. I predicted he would win. Without any pace at all, I think Marius is going to win. Because if you're a real Marius fan, you're just not scared when you see a situation like this. People will crash. He, he just... This is his strategy. If you're a real Marius fan, you're never scared. I'm scared for Spasa, though. Oh, he needs to hold off Nitro Faint. Please, Spaza. You can do it. Snipe him. No. Eighth in his first Division 1. GG. Spaza. Great performance for first Div 1. Top 8 in your first Div 1 is, is quite strong, guys. It's, it's hard. It's really hard. You made me nervous? Oh, I'm sorry. He's in chat as well. <laughs> we were rooting for you, but it's okay. Really cool to see new names. Oh, Kanjika. Ah, oh, that's a mistake. Oh, Rotrex fit. Oh, no. Oh, the double respawn. Oh, no. Oh, this round is over. This round is concluded. And if you're a real Marius fan, <laughs> you're not scared. I have seen this happen before. This is this is a tale as old as time. You take the most mistake-heavy map, and usually Marius wins it. His pace is 53 flat. This pace would land him in Div 2. But I'm not worried. I am not worried. Could also be scrappy win, but uh, but you know. How many wins does Marius have? I think around 10. Something like ton. Ooh, good pace here though. Oh, 12th. Had to massively panic release. But he does have pace, so him being in last, I'm actually a little bit scared for Marius. Uh, it's one second, but let me tell you, 12s can catch this. And he knows he has to start risking, so I think he's gonna full send. Ooh! That's about a perfect turn. Oh dear. Watch out, Marius. There is a jet engine blasting from behind here. It's one second up in the last corner, though. Oi! Okay. Okay, okay. <gasps> Valiant effort. Valiant effort. <laughs> he got closer. But not enough. Is, Clap is Scrappy close to 200 wins? Where does it sit right now? I think he's at 128. He hasn't won a couple the day after the new year. So this could be his first this year. Top five. Marius in last, but we're not scared. <gasps> I, I'm i not laughing at Nitrofane crashing, because I crashed too. But I'm just... This, this always happens. Scrappy with a mistake. Oh, Scrappy with a mi mistake as well. Somehow Marius is just able to, you know, not hit the walls. And it's just, it just gets him so far. It's crazy.
They all had 51 pace last round, so they're driving quick. Ooh, I would say Kanjika missing the approach a little bit, getting the speed to this loop though, 545. Kinda insane. But the other stars already point to ahead. Okay. Ooh, committing early. Too early. So wow, what an ending from down here. Should be down versus Scrappy Finals unless anything happens. The worst that can happen is clipping the outside wall here. I do want to see world record though. 50.5 signed out insane. I think we're gonna hop back into uh, back into rank, guys. Maybe check out the shortcut people found. Apparently, there's a shortcut on one of the new campaign maps already, and it's been like two hours. Yeah, look at this time. 50.5. Okay, going. You could say close to the walls. This guy's Sigma is good. Perfect no drift. Speed slide. He full speeds this turn. He has 580. Oh. <laughs> you have no idea how, how difficult this is. This is so difficult. Wow. My god, it's one second faster than the winning time in the final. But you, you would never drive around like this. 